would you stand to your feet? We're going to get flowing. We're going to get flowing tonight. We're so glad that you're here. I know that we're, we're, we've still got people showing up, but we're going to get going after the heart of God. This is an awesome, awesome gift of a new year. Amen. Come on, just lift up a shout and a praise to the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Oh. We bless you, Lord. Father, with lifted hands tonight and open hearts, we give you honor and all the glory and praise tonight, Lord. Oh, how we love you, Father. Oh, how we love you, Father. You're so good. You're so beautiful, Father. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus, Father. Jesus, love on us tonight. Pour out your heart lavishly in this place. Holy Spirit, we honor you and we welcome you. From the very outset of this year, we give you honor and glory and precedent right here at Victory. We bless you, God, and we bless your people tonight to encounter your heart, oh God. In the name of Jesus. tonight, Father. Thank you for these nine years of all that you have done, Lord, of bringing us together. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you and we give you honor and glory and we celebrate tonight all that you are and all that you have done. We give you praise, Father. Lord, tonight I pray it would bring you great honor and glory and I pray that we would honor one another. I pray, Lord, that you would kiss tonight with your presence with your peace and kiss tonight with your joy, Lord. We bless you. We give you honor and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we have come to bless you tonight. You, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. You are the reason why we are here tonight, Lord. It is not because we've been here for nine years or because we're getting new pastors. It's because you are present in the house. Father, we honor you, we glorify you, and we edify you. We give you praise and glory because you are due, Lord. Father, we bless you. We praise you. And Father, I'd ask, Lord, that you have your way tonight. Have your way tonight in us, Lord. Father, do as you will. Father, let us just follow. We, we hop on the bus, Lord. We hop on your bus. Hallelujah.
will sing.
spirit whose light is breaking forth like the dawn from night. You are the one who holds the keys, and every battle is your victory. Yours is the blood that's overcome. O oh, King of kings, that's your kingdom. So praise you, Lord. All of the earth, all of creation, praise your name. Let every heart, let every heart, let every soul praise you, Lord. All of the earth, all of creation, praise your name.
sing, let it come.
let hope arise. Let's declare it. tonight. Come on, children, lift your hands to the Lord tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let those symbols just ring out to the Lord. Valerie, just give us a little bit more tonight. I want you to just begin to sing off the page for a moment longer. Just begin to sing off the page and lift your voice. Lift your song to the Lord tonight. you take the hand of the person next to you. Just lift them to the Lord tonight. Lord, we consecrate this night unto your heart. Because <laughs> you're good. <laughs> you're so good, Lord. We love you. We love you, Lord. Just blow your kisses tonight, Father. Lord. 
tonight how you want to love him deeper this year. Just tell him, I want to love you deeper, Lord. I want to know you more intimately, Lord. I want to walk with you faithfully, Lord. I want to please you, Lord. I want to bring your heart joy, Lord. I want you to smile over me this year as you watch me, as you watch my friends, as you watch my family, as you watch our relationships, Lord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you please the Lord. You please the Lord. You please the Lord. <laughs> you please the Lord. Hallelujah. You please Him. He loves His bride. His bride is His cherished one. Yes, He loves His bride. He loves you. He loves you. You love Him tonight. Y'all look so beautiful. <laughs> Let's just one more time. Let's just give the Lord a beautiful, beautiful praise. Take your time. Love on each other. Give some hugs. Give some high fives. Bless each other tonight. Bless each other. <laughs> Come on, love each other. Happy New Year. just a quick favor tonight a couple very very important things would you silence your cell phones tonight or turn your cell phones off would you do that quickly would you do that quickly just silence your cell phone or turn your cell phone off or take your friend's cell phone and hide it or no <laughs> fantastic and then parents if you'll help us tonight if, if uh, all the parents would just be responsible very, very responsible for your own kids tonight. Amen? Just say, I'll do that. Yeah, thank you, church. You're awesome. Happy New Year, everybody. Whoa. Oh, it's feeling good up in here, isn't it? Isn't it feeling good? Beautiful. Amen. Gentlemen, go right ahead and back. We've got something special for you tonight to honor the Lord. Everybody say, to God be the glory. Amen. Turn that up.
Come on, church. To God be the glory. Come on. <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen. Come on. Praise our God. Praise the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Fantastic. <laughs> Not beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Pinch your neighbor and say, and the best is yet to come. <laughs> Don't pinch too hard. Cut that out. <laughs> Amen. Brent and I welcome you tonight. We're so happy that you're here. This is a wonderful night of nine years of celebrating all that God has done. And uh, really a brand new beginning for us as well. We're so happy for this brand new beginning, aren't we, sweetheart? Uh, tonight, if you're visiting ver for the very, very first time, can we just see your hands? If you're visiting for the very, very first time, right back there, we've got a gift for you. Can you lift your hand high and back there? Amen. We just welcome you. Amen. And Josh, is that one of the new YWAM team right there all the way from, from where? Washington State. Bless you. All right. Fantastic. We've got some, Barbie, we got some visitors right over there. All the way from Hong Kong, China tonight. Come on. <laughs> oh, we want to bless you guys. Hey, I really want to give a special welcome to Mike and his brand new lovely wife, Lena. Would you guys stand? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, their wedding was beautiful. Bless you guys. Their wedding was absolutely beautiful. What a privilege to do it. Thank you guys. It was lovely. For those of you that are visiting for the very first time, Brent and I want to welcome you. We want to honor you. And uh, we want to pray over you right now. There is a gift inside of that packet that we've just put in your hands. Take just a moment. Fill out the slip. Uh, we would love to get to know you, build a relationship with you, and we really do want to help you along your faith journey. How many of you know that all of us need help on our faith journey? Every one of us need each other. Somebody that says, well, all I need is God is misinformed. You need God and you need each other. Amen? We really need each other. And God uses us as the body of Christ. So we just thank you, Lord, for our new friends. We bless them. We pray, Lord, in this brand new year of 2014 that every barrier and obstacle and detour is removed in Jesus' name. That you walk in your perfect path of destiny in Jesus' name. That you see clearly, that you walk boldly, that you have eyes of the eagle, and that you soar with God in the Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, church. Let's welcome them tonight again.
Amen. Ushers, would you come at this time? If you need an offering envelope tonight, we want to serve you tonight. It's our time to give. Are you excited about giving in this very, very first off? Listen, this is the very first offering of the new year. Did everybody hear that? This is the very, very first offering of the new year. One of the, one of the last things that happened to end out 2013 is one of our members, a family in the church, the Lord did something very, very special for them as a family and he was so excited to call me and say Pastor Brian I want to sow a seed into Ivan Tate's um, orphanage down in Guatemala which uh, many of us have been there and we've been supporting for years and they wrote a check for $15,000 to go to Casa Angelina. <laughs> Isn't that fabulous? Come on! Ah, when I, we, we hate to call them orphans, but when I think of all those little kings and queens running around down there in Guatemala, up in the mountains there, it's precious, guys. I'm telling you what, it's phenomenal. Listen, I want you to give big this year. Man, I'm not bashful about that. I want you to give big this year. I want you to give radically. I want you to give unashamed. I want you to give with joy. I want you to tithe. I want you to tithe. I want you to honor God. I want you to tithe. I want you to give. I want you to give extravagantly and don't back off of it. Do not relent. Do not relent. Amen? Amen. I want to give you a moment. You write your check to Victory at Sarasota. All right. Awesome. What's that? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a few announcements while you guys are writing out mammoth checks right now. Amen? Let's do that. Yeah, go ahead. Well, before we go over announcements, all of you have a few papers, extra papers in your weekly tonight, and I just want to go over this card. We're very excited about the new business card or ministry card that we have for our healing rooms, our community healing rooms, if you look on one side, and then on the other, it has our Sozo ministry and our healing ministry. So. We're glad that each and every one of you have one of those tonight, and we encourage you to hand them out, spread the word, and just pass them out as much as can. I don't know if we have any in the in, in the back or not for you, to, but I'm sure we will eventually. But this is just a great tool that you can hand to people and let them know about the ministries going on for our city, not just our church, but for our city. And this is so wonderful. And if any of you have been a part of the Sozo or the Healing Rooms, you know the, just the impact that it makes in people's lives and the healing it makes. And um, I just can't say enough about it, but very excited about that. So please spread the word and let people know. All right. We've got a few announcements tonight. Just a few. Just a few. Um, I just want to give an update just with January coming back into the new year and the swing of things. We have our Victory Adult Bible Study going on January 7th at 7 p.m. So our Tuesday nights are starting back up again. And that includes our youth group. Woohoo! You? Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I know you guys are excited about that. And our um, Disciple Land and Disciple Land Preschool. So um, make sure you come out for that. That this that's this coming Tuesday night we start back up with that and then healing rooms does start back up January 9th on Thursday night so <clears throat> make sure you make a note of that also our treasure hunting starts back up and that's going to start January 10th at 7 p.m. if you need more information you can contact Sky Critchfield on that um, oh next week we want to say something about that Next week is going to be um, Pastor Brian and I's last night here with you as part of the Victory family, and you will be commissioning us on to Dallas, Texas, and um, there's no excuse for you not to be here. Okay? I'm just Whoa. singing it right up. <laughs> just want to let you know that. Yeah, that's the sound spoken like a true cowgirl. Whoa. No, we would love to see you here, and we're just looking forward <laughs> to what God has. <laughs> we're really looking forward to what God has <clears throat> sure for are. us, but for all of you here, and we're going to continue to be a part of that. So Amen. we love you guys. I think that's it for today. Beautiful. You stay up here with me, okay. sweetheart. Are you ready to give tonight? Yes. Are you ready to give? Yes. All right, let's stand. Let's stand. Let's honor the Lord tonight. 
Lord, we want our worship to just roll on and roll on all night, Lord. We just want our heart to continue to swell and love you and to be very, very sensitive to you the rest of this evening. Lord, as we, as we come prepared to sow the, the tithe and this seed and this offering, Lord, it is wrapped in our heart of worship. We worship you in our giving. And it is such a privilege and an honor to worship you in our giving. Father, we pray this year exponentially that you will bless Pastor Tony, Pastor Fran, Tony, Christina, Joel, our team, our staff, our elders, our church with miracle, miracle finances, miracle jobs, breakthroughs, inheritances, gifts, and surprises, found money in Jesus' name. Lord, that businesses will be birthed. Entrepreneurship will just, it will be like a powder keg throughout our church in Jesus' name. Let it be released. Let it be released in Jesus' name. We bless this first night of giving and sowing our seed tonight. We bless you, Lord, and we bless the work of the kingdom to perpetuate the knowledge of the Son. In Jesus' name. Come on, shout amen. 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 You may be seated tonight. Um, just want to want to do some real special things here as we as we transition um, we're going to be doing a number of things tonight and um, these things are very very significant wow they're very significant <laughs> amen I'm going to give you a moment to give here and uh, if I, let's see, if I was to sing an offertory right now, what, what would I sing? Hmm. <laughs> the happy song. <laughs> um, in just a few moments, we are going to introduce some very, very special guests tonight that are here uh, all the way from Seattle, Washington and from Africa. Africa. God is moving in Africa. Africa. There you go. <laughs> And his name is Dr. Duku. And I set my kids up and told them his name was Dr. Pepper. So, it's Dr. Duku. And Pastor Tony and Joanne Ramos. And we are so happy that you guys are here. We're going to be bringing them up in just a moment. And um, they are very instrumental in the face life and in covenant, real covenant relationship. And it's a beautiful thing. So, amen. Have we given... All right, ushers, just move along. Go as quick as you can to get back in here. Uh, it is our privilege to welcome tonight um, not only Pastor Tony, Pastor Fran, but their family, Tony Two. Everybody say Two. Tony Two, Christina, and Joel. Let's give a warm, warm victory welcome to the Faith family tonight. Come on. Love you. Love you, Anthony. Oh, I love you, buddy. I love you. Hi, Joel. I love you, buddy. You're going to put you right down on the end, okay? Christina. Oh, love you. Love you. I want to put you guys right here. You want to switch the spots. You guys go down there, okay? Yeah. This is great. Excellent. Oh my. Yes, 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 yes. Let me help you here, Brent. Tony, the, no. <laughs> They're lovely. Oh my gosh. Wow, these are gorgeous. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Love you guys. Do you guys have your microphone as well? Yes. And does my wife have her microphone? Excellent. Uh, wow, this is big. Isn't this a beautiful family? Yes. Praise God for them. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm going to have Pastor Tony, Pastor Fran um, talk about their family in a little while. But um, tonight we, we get to do something that is really the greatest privilege and the greatest honor to perpetuate the kingdom of God. 
and we get to bring in the succession truly that God has raised up. You know, Tony, you and I are brothers, and um, I'm, I'm not your Moses. <laughs> I'm not your spiritual dad. Uh, you're not my Timothy. You're not my Titus. You're my spiritual brother. Uh, but tonight um, is so special because we get to bring you guys in as a family, but as truly the succession that God has appointed and anointed for victory at Sarasota and for our city. Amen. Amen. Uh, tonight, um, I want to bring a few things out of the Word this evening and tell you, um, Pastor Tony, Pastor Fran, how we are receiving you tonight. And first of all, we are receiving you this evening as God's servants. Everybody say God's servants. In Matthew chapter 20, I want to read just a few verses of Scripture. It says, But Jesus called them to Himself... And he said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord over them. And those who are great exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you. But whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you must be the slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. First of all, tonight we want to open the door and welcome you as God's servants. Amen. That is who you are. But beyond being God's servants, there's even something greater than being God's servants. And that's God's friends. Amen. Amen. Tonight, we welcome them as God's friends and our friends. Amen? In John 15, this is what Jesus did. Jesus explained a successional truth. And when he was considering his successors, he considered his successors his friends. That's what he said to them. In John 15, he said these words. In verse 15, he said, No longer do I call you servants... For a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you. That you should go and bear fruit. And that your fruit should remain. That whatever you ask of my Father in my name, He may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. Amen. Tonight, we receive you as God's servants. But beyond that, we receive you tonight as God's friends. Now, a step beyond receiving you as God's friends, we receive you as the gift of God that He has mantled you and made you to be. In Ephesians chapter 4, I want to read a few scriptures out of this. That Jesus gave gifts. Just say that tonight. Jesus gave gifts. Here are the gifts that he gave us. It says, He himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith, of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure and the stature of the fullness of Christ. That we should no longer be children, tossed to and fro, carried about with the craftiness of deceitful plotting, but speaking the truth in love, may grow up into all things into Him." Who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working of which every part does its share that causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. Tonight, we receive the faiths, Pastor Tony, Pastor Fran, we receive them as God's servants. We receive you as God's friends, 
but we also receive you as the pastors that he has mantled you to be to shepherd this flock. Can the church say amen tonight? Amen. Tonight, we are appointing, officially appointing and commissioning them this evening. And what an honor it is. I have, I have told our church many times, the gifts and the blessings that you pray for in your life, they come in the packages of other people. But you have to have enough discernment to recognize when those gifts come into your life. Those gifts set, you, set before you tonight. Those gifts are here. Can you give God praise for his gifts? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> tonight, um, as God's gifts, in just a few moments, we're going to invite your friends and our new friends. Amen. But we're going to charge you, Pastor Tony, Pastor Fran, I want to charge you tonight, and Brent wants to charge you. Number one, shepherd this flock. Shepherd them. Feed them. Nourish them. Build them up in the word. Pray for them. Lead this church into the heart of the Father. Lead them. Lead them into the heart of the Father. Secondly, I want to charge you tonight to protect them from the wolves and the charlatans. Can the church say amen? amen? I want you to protect them from the wolves of this age. The scripture we just read says that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro, carried away by every wind of doctrine or the trickery of men. Protect this flock amen. at all cost. Protect this flock. I want to charge you tonight to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry and equip them with joy Amen. and equip them with excellence. Amen. Amen. I want to charge you tonight to preach the word boldly. Amen. Uncompromised. Preach it boldly. Preach it compassionately and passionately. I want to charge you tonight to endure hardship as a good soldier, as it says in 2 Samuel chapter 2. I want to charge you tonight to run with endurance, to run with patience, to run with faith. Tonight, I have, um, I have prophetically prepared a gift for the two of you this evening that I want to personally hand to you because I believe this is very significant. Honey, if you'll step across there, and I want you to, yeah. Come on. <clears throat> These are special batons that we've had made just for you. Brent, if you'll hold that. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. They say to, to Tony and Fran, from Brian and Bren, run with faith, love, and fire. <laughs> January 4th, 2014, victory at Sarasota. Tonight, <clears throat> as we place these in your hands, and we place them in your hearts, run with faith, run with love, run with fire. You are God's servants. You are His friends. You are His gifts. And we commission you tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm, uh, I'm going to share just a couple other things as you can be seated. Thank you so much, church. Honey, you can step back here. Huh. 
Glory to God. These runners are winners. <laughs> These runners are winners. Glory to God. I want to read over you tonight, 2 Corinthians 2, which we, we all love. Now thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ. He always leads us in the triumph. He's leading your family. Christina, Tony, Joel, he's leading your family in the triumph. And boy, you look good holding those flowers, Tony. <laughs> I love you, buddy. <laughs> First John 5 and 4, we all know it well. This is the victory that has overcome the world. It is our faith. This is the victory that has overcome the world. It is our faith. Guys, run hard after God. We're going to lay our hands upon you, prophesy over you, anoint you with oil in just a few moments. I love you guys so much. Father did this. Father did this. Over 15 years of friendship. Father did this. It's His dream. It's His kiss. We bless you guys tonight. At this time, Brennan and I want to welcome the... Their dear friends and our new friends, the Ramoses tonight, Pastor Tony, Pastor Joanne Ramos, and Dr. Duku, all the way from Africa. Can you make them feel welcome tonight? Bless you guys. Bless you. Give them the mic. Bless you. 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 Thank you so much. You could be seated. Thank you for having us. We're so blessed and honored and excited to be here. Um, I do have something specific I want to just speak for and about Tony and Fran and the, their family. But first, I want to say something to you and um, to Brian to Brian. What? an incredible group of people you are. Um, I don't think it's chance or accident that you waited till the new year for this to happen. I believe that God does things deliberately and on purpose and I believe that the start of something, it, mm. it signifies something not just in the natural but in the spiritual. I also believe, you know, at first I thought nine year, they're celebrating nine year anniversary, why didn't they wait till ten or all those things. But you know a nine in the Bible signifies specific things. It's, it's specific guys completion of a season, com right. completion of a time, completion of something. And, this isn't a failure or an upset or whatever. It's a completion of something. Completion. Things aren't left hanging. Things right. aren't left undone. It's a completion of a season. But it also represents the Spirit. You know, nine gifts of the Spirit, nine fruits of the Spirit. Yeah. That, that's what this house is about. And I believe that even at this transition of the baton, and the other thing I thought of, even just tonight as you did that, um, I thought about, you know, there's a zone where you pass the baton. I know it's hard for you to believe, but I used to run in a relay team <laughs> in high school. This physique, yes. Um, I don't mean to make joke out of something that's so amazingly important and spiritual, but there's a zone that you have to pass the baton right. or you've lost the race. You've missed the season. And if you cross over the line before or after where the baton is to be p passed, then you're disqualified. Now, praise God, God is greater than our disqualifications. That's right. But the truth is, what happens in that zone and at that time and in that season really sets the race and the runners up for success. And I believe that it's not chance or accident that on the ninth anniversary in this year and this time and this season that God has brought this transition this to take place. And how can you go wrong with pastors named Faith? <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's amazing. I thought it was a joke when we first met them that their names are really Faith. Um, but just in the last few weeks when I thought about coming, and it, please forgive me for turning my back because this, this is a minute just for them. Um, I mean, we all get to be part of it, but I really want to see their face. Um, when we talked about coming and about this taking place, I, I just am so blessed and honored that all of us, in fact, you, let me address you one more time, that really you, you are, you're part of a dream that's been talked about for as long as I've known Tony and Fran. That's right. Seriously, to be in this place and to, to their heart for Florida and for this area and for this yeah. region and for you, even before they knew you, that you are a dream that for decades they've dreamt about. 
And so for me to finally see you and to meet you and to see your faces, um, it's like living in someone else's dream and being part of something fabulous. And I'm just so grateful for that. But as long as I've known you, this has been your dream. And, and even your children, one day we're going to live in Florida. One day we're going to live in Florida. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's like, oh my gosh, I, I get to be part of this dream. I get to step into something that God has been preparing all these years and all this time. And just the last few weeks I've been thinking about this night, two things came to my mind. Two scriptures came to my mind. And the first one is from Kings, and it has to do with a woman who hosted God himself in her home. And she saw the prophet walk by her house and go by her home, and she said to her husband, let's make a place for God to come and be. Let's make a place for the presence to come and abide. Let's make a place for this man of God. Yeah. And in the natural, over 15 years ago, that's really what you did when someone came for two weeks and stayed nine months or however long Seven it was. And, a half. <laughs> and no one would have saw then that your, your heart to make a place for the man of God would make a place for you to be the man of God. That as you hosted them in your home, now he was going to host you in his home and make his home your home and give you that place of authority in this place. And God didn't, that, that wasn't chance or accident, not just for him, but Dr. Duco and even Tony and I, how we became friends was that you hosted us in your home. And I just really felt like the Spirit of God wanted to say to you, all of the people, all of the ministers, all of the hosting mm -hmm. that you've done your entire life, that the anointing that those people brought into your home is the anointing that you're gonna wear. It's the anointing <laughs> that you're gonna carry. It's the yes, presence God. that God has brought back to this place. And I just, the other scripture that he brought to my mind specifically for you is that what, what happened with them when they hosted the, the presence is she had no desire or no thought about the dream about a child. She'd given up on that. And I believe that in this season, not just for you, because we make each other's dreams come true by part partnering yeah, with each other, right. that in this season, dreams that have fallen asleep, yes, God. dreams that have been laid dormant, that the Spirit of God is going to begin to breathe on you and on this house. Things that you forgot about, things that you dreamt about, things that you pushed aside, that in this season, dead things are going to come to life. That God is going to put His hands on your hands and you're going to begin to produce things that you've never, ever even imagined how amazing they were going to be. And He's going to put His eyes on your eyes and you're going to begin to see things that you've never seen in Sarasota, Florida oh. before. And He's Hallelujah. going to put His mouth on your mouth and He's going to begin to breathe life into you like you've never ever seen or experienced before. Places where you were tired and weak and, and wanted to give up. The breath of God is going to be yes. breathed into you with such power. Your lungs and your life is going to expand to give birth to new things. Yeah. It's just the beginning. And the second scripture that he spoke to me about um, was about placing a mantle on you about Elisha and Elijah. And um, I'd never met Pastor Brian before, but I've heard amazing things about an amazing minister he is. And you know, it's so great about, about the body of Christ. I love what he said about the age, and you're not his Timothy, and he's, you're not his Moses, and he's not your Timothy, and all that. But you know what? We can exchange, we can impart each other's coats. The greatest thing about the anointing of God in our lives is there's an impartation. And I believe tonight, not just for you, Tony, not just for you, Fran, but for you, Christina, for you, yes. Anthony, and for you, Joel, that God is redressing you tonight. That he's putting a fresh mantle on you, a fresh authority, a fresh peace, yes, a fresh confidence, yes. a fresh uh, ability to minister the yes. word with power and authority and anointing. And not only are you going to gather Sarasota into the house of God, into the kingdom of God, but you're going to equip and release them in a way that you never have before. That this is going to be a sending place, not just a gathering place, Hallelujah. but a, 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 a gathering, <laughs> equipping, and ascending place. That place, the cities and nations all over the world will be filled with people that are going to come out of this place. That you're going to equip and release people. And just like in the Old Testament, Elijah and Elisha, they got greater. It got mm -hmm. double. I'm believing for double. Not just on the pastors, because whatever's on the pastor flows down to the body. If you pour oil double. on your head, it's going to flow over the whole body. And I believe that's what's going to happen. Everything's just going to rise up. There's going to be a double, a greater yes. portion. And it's not David's thing, because it's not you know, Saul's thing, because Saul's thing wouldn't work for David. God had his own thing for David, and God's got his own thing for Tony, his own yes. thing for Fran, yes. his own thing for Christine, his own thing for Tony, his own thing right now for Joel. God has got his own thing, and it's going to be yes. greater than anything you've ever known before, and it, where you, it, where you fit it. It fits you. 
It fits you mm -hmm. well, like something you just slipped into. It's going to be easy. The transition is easy. <laughs> it's going to be easy for you. It's going to be easy for all of you. It's just going to be so smooth and so easy yes. because it fits. It's the time. You're right in the zone to make the exchange, to, to run hard and to run fast and to win all that God has placed in your heart. So I, I just am so excited to be here tonight and just believe what God has for you is nothing like you've even thought, asked, or imagined. It's so much greater in Jesus' name. Praise God. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What an awesome thing to be a part of. Thank you, first of all, for having us here and opening your church to us. Uh, Tony and Fran are our friends. They're our close friends. They're not just casual friends, but when we spend time in resting, refreshing, we spend time with them. And they're a gift to us, and they always will be. And we're so grateful. Their example of faith has stirred our faith to believe God for great things. And I believe that's what's going to happen. Because they're not just priests, but they're kings and priests in God's kingdom. That yeah. means they hold a few mantles. And if you're looking for success in every realm of life, I believe that through that anointing that God's placed on their life, you will experience that. They have the faith of Abraham. They have the faith mm -hmm. of Isaac and Jacob. Hallelujah. They carry it. They live it. And they're just an amazing example to us. As I thought about what I would say to Tony and Fred, can't look at him because, you know, you look at him, you want to weep with joy. It's like, come on. <laughs> no, I thought of uh, the book of Hebrews. Right here in uh, Hebrews. Well, I better put my glasses on so I can read this to you. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. God is so good. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now that I can see. Uh, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 9 says, But beloved, we are confident of better things concerning you. Yeah. Yes, things that accompany salvation. Though we speak in this manner, for God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love which you have shown toward his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. You know, there's kind of a theme going on here. Hallelujah. And we desire that each of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until yes. the end. Yeah. And I believe that each one of you will do that. That you do not become sluggish, but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. For when God made a promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing, I will bless you, and multiplying, I will multiply you. This is a season of multiplication. This is a season Hallelujah. of blessing. Yes. Yes. <sighs> and so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. Hallelujah. He obtained the promise. For men indeed swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is for them an end of all dispute. No more striving, no more struggling. It's done. Thus God, determining to show more abundantly to the heirs of promise, the immu... immu I can say this word. Immutability... I can say this word. Immutability of his counsel confirmed it by an oath. That by two immutable things, in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have strong consolation, who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, yes. in which enters the presence behind the veil, where the forerunner has entered for us, even Jesus having become high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. I believe you guys have celebrated the presence of God, and I believe his presence only goes from glory to glory and strength to strength. These are the days we've been waiting for. We've seen revival, but we have only seen a small part of what God wants to do with our cities, with our states, with our nation, and in this time and season. Amen. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, it's a blessing to be here. 
Um, I've come to love your pastor, your former pastor. <laughs> More than anything with uh, Brent, the wife, I met him for the first time. I do a lot of traveling, but I've seen a man with a difference, with such a heart. And that is why as I was reading through your brochure this evening, your church brochure, I believe God is going to take you to new heights because of what you carry. You're very different. You don't pretend. It just comes out naturally in you. And we pray you continue to walk like that. There's such great anointing. When you stand, I've learned a lot within a short time that I met you. And as you stood here today, the anointing that is on your life. As my big brother and my sister have already said, we want to say thank you for having us here tonight. It's such an honor for me personally to be here to witness this great occasion and what the Lord is going to do. I've known Pastor, Pastors Tony and Fran and their children for uh, since 2000, and I don't know when I met him, 2009, in, um, right in uh, Temple. And um, ever since, I've come to love them dearly. Wonderful people, great people of love. They will open their home to anyone. As you can see, <laughs> the way they did the invitation, I think they called me about a month ago and told me about this function today. And I've been already been booked to minister yesterday, today, and tomorrow morning in Ottawa, Canada. And so I told her to give me some time to see if I can cancel the meetings there and try to be here. So I left a week today. I was in Canada. I was there for six days. Left yesterday in the morning after ministering my last ministry Thursday night in Toronto and came in. And uh, it showed how special they are to me. Praise the Lord. To leave everything and to be here. Um, you are blessed to have such pastors. Will you put your hands together and thank God for, for them? Yeah. Hallelujah. We want to honor them. Great people. Great people. Amazing people. Can we put our hands together for our former pastor? Amazing man. Great people. We want to thank God for you. We salute you. Hallelujah. We salute you, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love your nation. I travel all over the world, but I've never seen a nation like the United States for what you do all over Asia, all over Europe, all over North America, all over South America, the Caribbean, Africa. But I love the United States. Mm -hmm. Such an amazing, can we put our hands together for this great nation? Yes. Hallelujah. This is a great nation. Thank you, Lord. This is a Thank great you, nation. Lord. This is a great nation. Hallelujah. Thank God for the United States. We thank God for America. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Delira, I have to say, if you can help me and put up for me Isaiah chapter number 45. And uh, we will, there are nine things I want to tell you that God is going to do is prophetic. Mm. As God led Isaiah to prophesy to Cyrus. And that's exactly what I want to do, Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 1 to 3. If you can help me with that, and throw it up there for me, if you don't mind. Isaiah 45 there, guys. And verse 1 through 3. Please bear with us. I <laughs> like so all of us who see. There are <laughs> nine things I want to tell them in a very short time. And um, I'll be done. There we go, Dr. Duku. That says the law to his anointed. And uh, to you and your wife, your great wife, I've been to your home. You've been to my church in South Africa. I invited your wife, but because you were a team, you decided you will not let her travel alone. 
<laughs> you came together, and I will not forget when you were parting the cheaters. It was such a great time. I thank God for your children, well brought up, very level-headed people, amazing children. Mm -hmm. I will drive early in the morning from Chicago down to Springfield, and then sleep for about two hours in um, Joel's room, and uh, I will take Christian car and drive to St. Louis, Missouri. That is the kind of people you are. You open your home, and uh, you want to see God's word go on. So I see you as God's anointed for this city. Yes. That is what you need to see yourself. It's not pride. You need to walk in that anointing. So he said to Cyrus, whose right hand I've held. That is the first one. God is going to give you strength. That passage there, whose right hand I have held. God is going to, don't, don't be afraid. God is going to give you strength to do what is brought you here to do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And number two, to subdue nations before him. New territories. He's talking of nations. The Lord is going to give victory, Saratoga, new territories in Jesus' name. He's brought you here for that expansion in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And number three, he's going to lose the armor of kings. If you go to the New King James Version, that is where he puts it that he's going to bring a special fear and respect upon this church because of what this church carry. The anointing of God is right here. And you are going to walk in that anointing. The anointing breaks every yoke. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We want to thank God for that. And then he says, I've already given you three charges. The third one says, to open before him the double doors. <laughs> Not one door. So opportunities are coming your way. New opportunities are coming your way. In Africa, we sing a song, everything is double, double. I tell them that, and uh, I make my people love everything will be double, double, double homes, double cars, double everything, but not double marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and so, number four, there's going to be great opportunities coming your way in yes, Jesus' Lord. name. Yes, and this church, new doors are going to be open for you in Jesus' name. Yes. Not one door. If you go back there, you can see the main door there is double, it's not one. And if you go through one, it's very difficult. But when the two doors are open, it's very free movement that God is going to give to this church. Hallelujah. So we've gone through number three and number four, so that the gates will not be shut. When a gate is shut, there's no movement. So this church is going to move forward. Nothing is going to stop this church from moving forward in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Because you carry the anointing of God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And verse number two. That was number six. Verse number two, he says, I will go. If you can, I, I, don't, I don't want to give you a problem, but if you go to the NIV, this is what he says in that verse. The NIV says this, I will level mountains. This one talks about, I'll make crooked places straight. It's quite different from that. If you go to the original text, he says mountains. He's talking about challenges. That life without challenges is no life. Life without problems is no life. A church without problem is no church. But I speak to you with the anointing of God on your lives. Every mountain is going to be leveled in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I say every mountain in this church, every problem that this church is facing, every challenge, the anointing of God is going to make it fry, going to remove everything. Straight way to go in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Number eight, he says, I will break in pieces the gate. No, not only one break, pieces. The gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. 
He's talking about deliverance. That's right. There is special deliverance coming for this city. Any spirit that is sitting on this city and anything that is going on, God is bringing total deliverance. Anything that is holding the city, holding this church and going forward, God is bringing deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father. We honor you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And then the last one, verse number three, the last one. Listen to what he says. This is what is coming upon this church. Thank God for what you're doing in Guatemala. But I tell you, it takes money, 15,000 US dollars, somebody. That, that is the reason why, as I travel, I've been to more than 70 airports in the United States. I've been to about 44, 40, 44 states right here out of the 50 states. Up and down, north, south, east, west of the United States. Amazing country. And you go to the airports and see hundreds of United States men and women going to mission field. No nation like this. I promise you, other nations went to colonize, but you yeah. go to set people free. Yeah. That is the, what you are. The last one says, I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches in secret places. Hallelujah. There is a new anointing for wealth coming on this church so that, so, so that you will be able to establish. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. hallelujah. I say hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, let's lift our hands and say wealth wow. is coming to this church in Jesus' coming name. To this church in Jesus and the purpose name. for that is that we will establish the covenant yes. in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 16, verse 18. Yes. It's coming in Jesus' name. Yes. You receive that. Yes. Pastor Tony, you will not lack you and your wife. You know what they did just about, um, about 13 months ago? Is it about 13 months? About 15 months ago, I sent 11 black women who have never traveled before. It was his history in the city where I live. 11 women, very difficult. They were able to host them. Picked them from Chicago airport, stayed with them, did everything. The women came back and they cannot keep quiet. You need money for the kingdom work. And God is giving the hidden treasure and the riches unto this church in Jesus' name. For the new territories. Hallelujah. I say for the new territories, hallelujah, it's coming in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to say thank you again. You don't mind, you're not only handsome physically, but you've got such a beautiful heart, brother. I've come to love you. I touch about 40 million people, potential viewers, for the past 16 years on TBN. Um, Rodney Howard Brown is a good friend of mine. We sit each together, Andrew Rebert, and uh, I do TBN in Chicago. They know I get it almost of the time. I was there twice last year. I'll be there in June again to do programs. You, you, you are such an amazing man. Before I give you the microphone, I want to give you a hug, if you don't mind. And then I will hand the microphone back to you. Bless. Hallelujah. I love you, brother. You are such a great man. Thank you so much. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Love you. That anointing of God is on your life. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Why don't you guys come on down too? Would you guys like the pulpit? Would you like it moved over? Yes, sure. Okay. Huh? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yeah. Yeah, after you guys address the church, we're going to yeah. come back and anoint you with oil and pray. Okay? Let me move that.
why we ever made this thing 500 pounds on that one. Hallelujah. Pastor Tony, Pastor Tony, again, when you're done, then we're going to come back up and anoint you with oil. Victory. Oh, thank you. What an awesome night this wow. has been. Wow. <sighs> Some of you might have thought this day never would come, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, it's, it was a process. Yeah. And I want to thank Pastor Brian and Pastor Bren and their family for doing everything that they've possibly could according to the Holy Spirit leading them guiding them for building the platform for this transition amen transitions are sometimes dangerous <laughs> sometimes scary yeah. for a church yeah this is our first transition that we've experienced yeah but God was in it from the very beginning was. As we've said already, but without their planting seeds into your hearts and preparing the way for us to be here, it would have never worked. Mm. As I looked at the film, the, the photos for over nine years, amazing. Just amazing. It was beautiful. And a lot of people have, have come and gone, obviously. That's what happens. But you're here for such a time as this. Amen. Such a time as this. God has prepared this night for such a time as this. Yes. That's right. And like has already been said, we move forward. We move forward in the things of God. I want to share a scripture with you. And it's out of the book of Ecclesiastes 3, 3 and 1. And before I get there, something was already mentioned too, was the very fact that how warm and welcoming this church is. Can I just say that words cannot express how warm and welcoming this church is? It's overwhelming. Wow. We were received... After 21 hours of driving straight through from Springfield, Illinois to Sarasota, Florida, with a, a semi that had come before us, 53 foot semi. We had two that vehicles. That was just my clothes. Just your shoes, actually. <laughs> Princess. <laughs> Princess. It's <laughs> good. We, we left in nine degree weather. We had taken three days to pack that trailer. It was cold. We were weary. But the moment we set foot here in Sarasota, we were welcomed Amen. with joy. Yes. Hallelujah. It was Hallelujah. overwhelming. <laughs> My children were overtaken. I was overtaken. <laughs> the, the words cannot express how we feel about being here and I know time will, 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 will tell as we go forward in the things of God but the welcome was awesome. Praise God. New Year's Eve, went to a New Year's Eve party at the cases. We were two minutes before the strike of midnight. They opened up a place where we could pull in, come in, and we hopped out of the car, and we began to count down. 20, 19, 18. It was awesome. Let me just tell you this. Um, I was so tired that I did not go to the party. I was just exhausted. And um, Aunt Joel and I stayed back, and Tony, I'm going to call him Anthony, just so you all know that. But because... 
I call him Anthony, um, but you, you are going to call him Tony, so you're going to know when I say Anthony, that's who I'm talking about. So Anthony and Christina and Pastor Tony went, and Joel and I stayed back, and they said, Mom, it was so cool. They were more excited about us getting there than the new year. <laughs> And, you know, my kids, you're going to get to know them, and you're going to love them just yeah. like they're going to love you. Amen? Yeah. Amen. And one of the things you're going to love about them is they're real. And they just, you know, it is what it is. And one of the things I love about my children is, even though they've been raised in church, they are not religious. They're not your, they're not the, and I don't even know what typical pastor's kids are because my kids are just normal kids. Amen? <laughs> they love God no matter what anybody else does. No matter who's where or who isn't. They love God because God lives inside of them. Amen? And, one, and, and so what I'm trying to say is they'll say, they say it like it is. If they think somebody's weird, they'll tell me, Mom, they're weird. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't care if it's natural or spiritual. Those, they, they, they read it. And uh, they said to me, Mom, this was after the unloading of the trailer and then the party. They said, Mom, there wasn't one weird person there. That's awesome. I'm telling you, that's big with my kids. <laughs> so there's no weirdos in this church. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It's... Share your heart, baby. Share your heart. It's good. And and last but not least, I want to thank our, our dear friends that have come oh all the way from gosh. Seattle and South Do Africa. Do you love them or what? Praise God. Come on. Awesome. Amen. Hallelujah. I did too. I thought he was going to give Miss Joy and my flowers for a minute. <laughs> Where's he going with those flowers? <laughs> they better be Christina's. <laughs> And the awesome thing about that is that they're a part of this church now. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Beautiful. Yeah. You've adopted them. Yes, we did. <laughs> Praise yes. God. So excited about your word, Dr. Duku. Just blessed beyond words. Yeah. And um, those of you who I know I've shared with Terry and Leroy and Pete and Pastor Brian and Brenda about how Dr. Duku, even though we haven't known him as long as maybe we've known Pastors Tony and Joanne, um, or even Dr. Leon and Bridget Van Royen, who were unable to be here tonight because he's out of town. Um, the moment we met Dr. Duku, we knew that it was ordained by God. We knew that we loved him. And one of the things I love is that he is... You would, he he's never told us, you know, I'm a prophet or anything like that, but I have never heard anybody speak prophetically on target as much as I have him. He has, in our previous church, I've heard him prophesy over people and we're looking at each other thinking, oh my gosh, they're going to think we told him everything. <laughs> So I am so excited about that word because I know it's yeah. exactly what God's going to do. Amen. Because Hallelujah. I know you hear his voice and you speak it. Praise Thank you God. for that. Amen. Amen. Praise our God. And I just. And I, let me just say this. Okay. If you guys are hungry for missions and mission trips, Tony and Joanne, oh they are the gosh. people you want to be around. Because they serve the nations. Amen. They're servants to the nations. And I can see many, many exciting trips mm -hmm. coming ahead as, as we just seek the Lord. <laughs> so it's it right. sounds Amen. exciting. Amen. Joe, I love you. And I just, to the woman of the church, all I can say is get ready. Because... 
God is going to do great things here in us. Amen? <laughs> you have not seen anything yet. <laughs> and <sighs> Joanne Romos is one of the most, most anointed women I know. God uses her greatly. And I'll tell you, she is going to be a gift to you. You are going to fall in love with her as much as I am. I used to always make jokes. When I grow up, I want to be Joanne Romos. It's <laughs> mm, awesome. There, when I get into places in life and I don't know what to do, I call her. I just want you to love her as much as I love her and honor her as much as I honor her. And her husband, my husband and her husband are almost trouble. T and T together. I'm not kidding you. Tony Ramos is one of the most godliest men I know. It's just such an honor to have them yeah. as our friends. And just like they said, we don't just do God together. We do life together. Amen. We vacation together. We fellowship together. And I, I'm just so excited that we're able to share them with you. Because these are precious gifts to us. Dr. Duku and Pastor Tony and Joanne, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. I just want to share just a little bit. I won't, it won't take too much time, but I believe this is important. In Ecclesiastes 3, 1, it says, To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. For everything there is a season. We are embracing a new season at Victory Amen. in Sarasota. Pastors Brian and Bren are embracing a new season as they go forth, as we celebrate that next week. Come on. We come from a climate where there's many season changes. There's four season changes. And when those, you look forward to the seasons changing. Mm -hmm. Even in the summertime when it's hot, 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 you're looking forward to the cooler weather. Mm -hmm. And when it's cooler and then gets cold, you are looking to the warmer weather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. When seasons change, there is a change, but, but there's growth and there's expectation. And there's great expectation in this church and there's great expectations in our hearts Amen. for what God is going to do. Not only in this city, I believe this city is going to be changed not only just because of victory at Sarasota, but how God orchestrates us with other churches. Because I've said this before, victory at Sarasota being one church is not going to win this city. That's not what God wants. That's right. God wants us to team up and partnership in That's unity right. with others. Yes. Amen? Amen. And, and I believe with that, there is going to be great growth in you. Come on. As excited as we are, I know you're excited also, and which you very should be, because I was praying today and I'm thinking, you know what, Lord, this is, this is an awesome thing for us. This is a dream, like, like Joanne said, this is a dream. And she's get to live in our dream, <laughs> and that's pretty cool. But the truth is, we, we have been, been dreaming. This is a vision that God has given us. <laughs> It's taken 15 years, if not longer. Can I tell you, don't give up on your dream. Come on. Hallelujah. Don't give up on your dream. Whatever God has placed in your heart, continue to press on with that. And one thing that, that both my wife and I are going to do, we will challenge you in your vision and in your dream. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. We will press in with you and believe with you and work with you and stand with you in your vision and your dream. Because God wants to see it come to pass. Yes. And for it to come to pass is not His choice. It's your choice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. Now I'm going to say that again. It's not His choice. He's already chosen the path of victory for you. Come on. He's already chosen the destiny and the plan and the purpose for you. Amen. It's up to you to fulfill that. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 And we will do everything that we can to help Amen. you fulfill that destiny in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Three... When, um, when, um, 
we were here last time and we were introduced and um, after there was three words I really felt the Lord give me for mm -hmm. victory at Sarasota and um, I think one day we were sitting together and I, I think it might have been at the office and Brenda, Pastor Brenda was sitting in the office we were across I think it was at the last board meeting and I said the Lord gave me three words for victory and um Pastor Tony said, love your husband. <laughs> okay. And all the men said, amen. amen. Married man. Amen. Um, but I, I believe that there are three words, and I want you to own these three words because they're part of our DNA. They are part of who we are. And I just encourage you to... To pray on them and just to just to take ownership of them. And the first one is that we're going to do life together. We're going to do this together. Just like Pastor Tony said, not one person is going to win the city. Well, you know what? When one is weak, the other is strong. That's right. And we're going to do life together. We're going to celebrate each other's victories. We're going to stand in faith with each other when the other one needs it. Mm. We're going to be there for each other. Mm. We're going to open our doors for each other. Just like Maria and Leroy did for us. Yeah. We're going to do that. Darlene and George. Darlene and George, thank you so much. Open their home to us, to our family. Beautiful. We're going to do that together. Not just one or two couples, all of us. Because we're going to do life together. And in that, we're going to have fun doing it. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. And the second thing I really felt that the Lord said was that you haven't seen anything yet. That is a prophecy that has been spoken over my life. And can I tell you something? Every time God shows up, it's bigger and better than I can even imagine. Amen. And I'm talking big. We serve a big God. Yes, we do. Say this with me. I haven't seen anything yet. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen anything, anything yet. Come on, get ready. Get ready, get ready, because the third word is, and Pastor Brian spoke it tonight, the best is yet to come. Yeah. The best is yet to come. Not that what you had wasn't great, mm. but God takes us from glory to glory. Amen? Amen. That's right. And we're not going to, you, you know, you're not looking at replacements. Oh, that's right. We're not replacing them. That's right. We're starting where they finished. Hallelujah. And we're running on that race Amen. that he's called this body to run. And we're going to run it with victory. We're going to run it with joy. We're going to have fun running it. And we're going to see lives changed in that. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you how we're going to do it. We're going to do it by walking in his word. We're going to do it by doing what he says. Because within his word lies the power. Yes. Within this word right here lies the miracles. Amen. This word right here ha is the answer to everything that we need. And when we do whatever he says, we're going to see miracles happen. Yes. We're going to be doers of his word here at Victory. We're not just going to be sayers. We're going to be doers. We're going to possess this word. We're going to yeah. own this word. Just yeah. like Pastor Brian said, even we're going to do everything. We're going to tithe. That's right. We're going to put our hand to the plow. Yeah. That's right. We're going to love the unlovable. That's right. We're going to reach the lost. Yes. We're going to go to the nations. Yes. We're going to touch the world. <laughs> Amen. Uh, uh, Let me tell you. This is just the beginning, and we have yeah. not seen anything yet. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Last, oh, several months ago when I was here, I was able to, to minister, and I shared a, 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 a word of prophecy that was given to me at the beginning of last year, 2013. It was from Jerry Savelle, and uh, it was, it, it kind of went like this. It went, more and more this new year she'll bring. Favor upon favor, it open doors, doors that have been shut will be shut no more. And, and as we... Sent it in the letter. And we sent it in the letter, okay. So, yeah. in that prophecy, we stood on that prophecy from January 3rd, 4th, something like that when we received it. And that was before we knew anything about any of this. Yeah. And we had made a decision, a conscious decision to press into that word and stand on it and believe. Believe that that word was for us. 
And we did. And can I tell you, every part of that word has come to pass in 2013. Every part. Every part, every part of that word. So knowing that, we have received the word for 2014. Amen. And I want to share it to victory. And I want you to get a hold of it. And I want you to own it. And we're going we're gonna to go over it, you know, periodically. And we're going to send it out. And you're going to get this in your heart. I'm going to tell you what, this word is for victory at Sarasota. Amen. This word is for everyone who believes. Amen. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Never stop celebrating what I've already done. Now expect me to do the greater and it will come. 2014 will be known as the year of the greater. I'm ready, saith the Lord, to do a new thing, the likes of which you've never seen. Yes. My glory shall come in such a way that you'll stand in awe and begin to say, My God, my God, I never knew that I would get to see this side of you. Such splendor, such power, and magnificent too. No wonder the earth will bow down to you. The prophets said, said these things would come to pass. And now they're here at last, at last. The greater glory they spoke about. We're in, we're in it now. Let's shout, let's shout. A new wave of his glory is what shall be seen. For this is his plan for 2014. Our God is taking us to a brand new place, and soon you'll see him face to face. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's shout it out. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We receive that word, Lord. We have it written in the tablets of our heart. Father, we walk it out with plan and purpose that you've purposed for us, each and every one of us, Lord. We stand in your awe and we stand in your glory because the greater thing we're going to see is coming. It's here right now. Hallelujah. Father, we will continue to host your presence Come in this on. place. Come on. We will continue to cultivate honor. Thank you, Jesus. We will continue to walk in your love. We will continue to impart faith, hope, and love into the hearts of the people, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, oh. proclaiming that they're world changers and history Come makers. On. Walking in your presence. Oh. Knowing the authority that you've been given to us, Lord, that we can walk in it. Thank you, In Jesus. your Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to you, Lord. Here is a new tradition at Victory at Sarasota. Just lift your hands to heaven. We want to pray a blessing over you. Yeah. Just say this with me. Thank you, Lord. Rules and regulations, Rules and regulations. are changed on my behalf. Are changed on my behalf. This week, this week, I have favor with God. I have favor with God. God. And I have favor with men. Favor with everywhere, men. I go, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, people are drawn to me. People are drawn. They want to do business with me. They want to do business. And they go out of their way to bless me. And they go out of their way to bless me. This week, this week, there's peace in my home. There's peace in my home. My marriage is stronger than it's ever been. My marriage is stronger than it's ever been. And my children. Are happier than they've ever been. And my, and my children, children are happier, happier than, than they've ever been. been. We thank you, God. We thank, thank you, God, for what you're doing, for what you're doing, and what you're about to do. For what you're about to do. This week, this week, people are going to come across my path. People, people are going to come across, across my path, and I'm going to be able to share Jesus with them. I'm going to be able to share in the Jesus mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Terry, can you guys uh, just move the pulpit quickly? I'd like to invite our elders as well, like our elders to come and their wives, and Dr. Duku, Joanne, Pastor Tony, Pastor Joanne. If you guys would just pull your chairs right up here, front and center, um, right along here, so we can just be right up here on the steps too. And uh, I want to make sure we have both microphones available. And. Um, in this part, okay, fellas, can we move this out of the way for photographs as well? Thank you so much. Excellent. 
And uh, Pastor Joanne, there should be anointing oil right there it is. That's right where I wanted it. Perfect. Want our elders to come and their wives, guys, want to join right around them. I'd like our church to stand at this time. We're, we're about at the closure of this meeting. We're going to be flowing right into our fellowship hall uh, for cake and punch and some different things. But this, uh, this is vital. This is, uh, this is everything. Amen. 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 Here, Dr. Duke, will you hang on to that microphone? And uh, yeah, let's surround them tonight, guys. And um, make sure that... Um, Make sure we pass around the microphones as we speak as well. I've got this one. Come on, church. Just stretch your hands towards the faiths right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Thank Christ, you. Thank you, Lord. Thank we commission you, we commission you as the man and the woman of God that has been appointed and set in this house, set in this house by His heart. By His heart, by His love, by His grace. May you run. May you run well. May you run strong. May you run full of joy. <laughs> full of joy. Full of the power of the Spirit of God. May you run worthy of this call. I bless you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my wife and I bless you. And we commission you forward this night in Jesus' mighty name. We declare that the angels of God surround you. We declare that the angels of God surround your children. We declare that you have favor in the city of Sarasota, Florida. That you are blessed in this state. We declare over you your dreams shall become a reality. You are blessed. We declare tonight that God... God renews your strength like mighty eagles this night. We declare open doors that no man can shut in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you make Tony and Fran a mighty weapon in your hand. In Jesus' name, a mighty weapon of impartation of your grace and love and victory. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare it. Come on, church, give God praise for that. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just pray right now, and I bless you both, mm. that this is your inheritance land, Come that Sarasota is your inheritance, yeah. and Sarasota is your harvest mm. field. In the name of Jesus, you have sown and you have plowed in Illinois, but your harvest field is here. And we declare it right now in Jesus' name. And we welcome you into this city. We welcome you into this church. Yes, we do. We welcome you. Brian and I welcome you into this position of authority here at Victory. And we bless you. We bless you, Tony and Fran. We love you. We love you. We believe in you. And we cheer you on. We cheer you on. Run. 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 Come on. Run with faith, love, and fire. In Jesus' name. Yanda la boso robo korora mama mama maha ya yari akata la boso robo korora mama maha yandi ya siri ya chala baba baba ya so robo koya ya chala baba siri ya chala baba baba ya yandi ya siri ya chala baba baba ya Tony and Fran, in the name of Jesus, it is a pleasure, it is an honor of mine to to bless you, to welcome you into this body as an elder of this church, 
the servant of the Lord before you. I bless you and I honor you in Jesus' name. I stand by you. I give you my full support. Oh, wow. In Jesus' name. Father, we just welcome as a family. We welcome as a family, pastors Tony and Fran, into our hearts. I pray that right now that there would be a convergence. There would be a, a, almost a, um, an arrow shot by your heart directly into all of our hearts that would go so deep into our hearts that there would be a bond that would be created in this moment. Come on. This would be a holy moment before you, Lord. On, Jesus, do that. And right now, I pray that this family becomes stronger yes. and that there is a cord that is created. Yes. There is a unity that's created yeah. yes. that will be yeah. unbreakable. Yeah. Unbreakable. Unbreakable, yeah. unbreakable yeah. union. Yeah. Unbreakable yeah. favor. Yeah. Unbreakable yeah. anointing yeah. that will go to the nations. I declare this in the name of Jesus, yes. and it will be through family. It will be through a family. Yes. It will be your great dream for this city and for this nation and yes, for the Lord. world. Yes, Lord. We declare yes, Lord. your family, your great dream, your anointing, yes, your pleasure, your joy, your, your presence be released yes. through the bonds that are created right now by the Holy Spirit. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray this. We receive you, Tony and Fran, into our hearts. We receive all that the Father has into our hearts right now. Come on, come on. Let this bond be created that will be unbreakable. Yes. No man can break. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Father, I, Father, I stand in agreement that we are indeed going to get stronger and we're going to grow together. I just declare that uh, this church, I just know personally, I've already opened my heart to you, the two of you. And I just declare that that is going to be such a wonderful transition as we all are opening our hearts to you to be all that, that we're born to be. And, and I just declare that as our relationships grow, that eyes will be opened in the eyes of the community, that people will start to see who they are in Christ. Yes. People will start to realize their personal destinies in Christ and put aside the things that they've allowed to, to weigh themselves down. And that's both inside the body and outside of the body. People are going to start to discover who they are in Christ, who they were born to be. Yes, Lord. As they see the love, the love that, that comes from all of us and flows through all of us yes. through these relationships. Thank you. In Jesus' name. A word I got is um, extravagant heavenly provision. Extravagant heavenly provision that God's covenant with his people is that there would never be lack and the opposite of lack is abundance exceedingly abundantly beyond that which we ask or think I speak great encouragement over your spirits in the name of Jesus I bless your spirits to rule and reign over your soul and over your body and I call forth God's very best in your lives God's very best in your lives in the holy name of Jesus Thank you, Lord. Man and woman of God, as the eagle soars high in the strong winds and yet has extraordinary discernment, yeah. the Father has placed a mantle of wisdom in your hearts, but it's enveloped by his compassion and his passion for people. I say that you will rule. And God says that you will rule and you will reign in the kingdom. You already do. You walk above and not beneath. You are a man and woman of favor and grace. God has graced you with his presence. You're extraordinary because you know him. You're extraordinary because you walk with him. 
just as Abraham saw the things that happened yes, or were going to happen, yes, God let him in on the council. Yes, so will you see the things that are going to happen yeah. and are happening yes. in the spiritual and the natural realms. Yes, you are called, you are appointed and anointed. And we just bless you because God has commissioned you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, just like your daughter, Pastor Fran just said, they did not come to replace come on. Pastor Brian and Pastor Brian. Mm -hmm. They came to continue, Lord. Father, we pray, what a powerful way. Pastor Brian and Pastor Brian, Father, laid the foundation, a solid foundation here, Lord. What a great foundation for the past nine years. Solid foundation, solid men and women of God, Father. A church of nine years should not be this far. Father, it shows the hard work they've done, Lord. Just as Joshua came to continue with the work of Moses, Father, the same prayer is what we're praying for them right now. Yes. That the foundation that have been laid, Lord, they will not deviate from that. Mm -hmm. When the foundation is laid, Father, and the structure that is lettered on it is not gone according to the foundation, yeah. Lord, the building will collapse. We pray and we speak that will never happen in Jesus' name. Never. They are going to continue Jesus. with the foundation right. and the building plan of the vision, yeah. Father, yeah. of victory, Lord. Come on, As a result, we yeah. thank you, Father. Yeah. Yeah. Moses led the people of the promised land. Brian and Brent led the people out into this great position where we are. Father, Joshua took the people to the promised land mm -hmm. to let them inherit their promises, Lord. The foundation was already laid. And Father, thank you as they begin to continue from here, Lord. Yeah. Members of this church are going to see their dreams fulfilled. Their visions coming to yeah. pass, Father. Possess yeah. all that they have in this life. We give you praise, Father. Thank you. We thank you, Lord. Yes. As yeah. Pastor Brian, what a great man, Father. And Pastor Brian, as they step into the new, Father. Thank God. That they are not going home as Moses did. Father, this link will never be broken in Jesus' name. Yeah. Father, they will forever be the founding members, the ones who laid the foundation of this church, Father. This relationship will always continue. Whenever they come here, they are at home, Father. We bless you, Lord. We thank you with your children, the two beautiful children, their daughter and their son, Lord. Father, as they begin to go to the nations of the world, the reason why the Holy Spirit came is not for us to have good bombs, but he came that we can be witnesses, starting from Jerusalem and starting from Judea and to the uttermost part of the earth, Father. And we pray as you commission them, yes. as they go to Dallas for all nations, for Christ, Father, it's going to happen in Jesus. New doors are going to be open for them, Father. Yes. We thank you, we bless you. Thank in you. Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you that the faiths Amen. won't know one lonely day, one not, right. nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken, Lord God, that you are more than enough. Yes. You're more than enough for this man and woman of God, oh, spirit, enough. soul, and body. Yes. Yes. More than enough for Anthony, more than enough for yes. Christina, more than enough for for Joel. God, I thank you that you've orchestrated everything to this moment and you've just begun to do this amazing work. And God, I thank you that you're surrounding them even tonight with these men and women of God. God, I thank you, Father, for a team that's coming alongside. I thank you for men and women of God who are anointed, Lord God, for the positions, Lord God, of elders in this church. I thank you for your hand and for your grace. I thank you, God, as you've increased, Tony and Fran, God, you're increasing this team. God, I thank you that they're going to see a fresh anointing on their life. I thank you that they're going to see visions and dreams and calling. Yeah, yeah, God, yeah, places yeah. where maybe they've even settled or got used to. God, you're awakening things. God, remind them of dreams and visions and things that you spoke at another season, Lord God. And let
let the gifting and the calling and Tony and Fram lift them up. Let it draw them out, Lord God. God, like water out of a deep well, let it be drawn out of these men and women of God. Thank you for this team, for this net. Thank you for a spirit of agreement, Lord God. Thank you that they're Aaron's and hers that come alongside, Lord God, to build your house and to build your kingdom. God, I thank you that it's not about personalities, Lord God. It's not about individual offices, but it's about your kingdom. There is a king and his kingdom cause comes. And God, and I thank you for this anointing upon this team, God, upon this team to build your house and to build your kingdom in Sarasota. We thank you for it, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, God. Thank you for it. Thank you, God. Yeah, Hallelujah. Thank you. Come on. Father, we seal all of this now by the power of your name, by the beauty of your name, by your blood. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Would you all stand tonight? I know that we've went long and late, but would you all stand? And I just, I want to officially just, as I would at any wedding, I just want to officially um, introduce to you your brand new lead pastors, Pastors Tony and Fran Faith. Amen. Amen. Tonight, um, as the faith begin to slip out with their children, with Dr. Duku, uh, with Pastor Tony, Pastor Joanne, uh, Terry, if you'll lead them right into the uh, fellowship hall for our time of celebration, cake and punch and hugs, and uh, we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time tonight. Let's celebrate. Hey, give them just a second. Let them slip back there just quickly. There you go. There you go, guys. Yeah, you can go. You can go with Pastor Tony. That's fine. Guys, we love you. It's been a beautiful, beautiful night. Love you all so very much. Want to encourage you to stay as long as you can. Meet us over in the fellowship hall tonight for cake, for punch. We love you and we bless you. Good night. We'll see you next week.